In this video, I will teach you a different style of pop-up effects. Many people say that this is difficult to do. So, I turn on my magical personal computer. They say that if you don't try, you will never know. And that's true. So, I searched for the different styles of pop-up effects. Based on what I found on the internet, your editing process will be much easier if you start with Canva, especially if you are a beginner. In this video, I will show you the following. Basic bounce pop-up effect, staggered pop-up effect, text reveal animation, and layered pop-up effect. That's why I suggest you don't skip this tutorial so you can create a creative video using only pop-up animation. Let's get started. Open the Canva application, click on video, and select a 1920 by 1080 pixels landscape video. First, we will add our background video. Go to elements and search for typing on phone. Then, resize it to cover page 1. Next, we will get elements where we'll apply the pop-in animation. For example, pop-up notifications. Under graphics, you will find many options, including both static and animated elements. In the Magic Recommendation section, you will see plenty of free options, so click See All to view everything available. Once you have chosen the elements, position them where they will pop up. Next, click on the element, go to Animate and select the Rise animation to make the effect smooth. Then, play the video to check where you need to cut. Move the end of the video to the marking line to adjust the timing. After that, right-click and select Duplicate Page. On page 2, move the marking line to match the cut we made in page 1. Then, delete the notification icon on page 2. For the next step, this is the best part where I want the scene transition to be smoother. On page 2, we need to zoom out because we will resize the video to be larger. Once you have positioned everything correctly, go back to elements and search for a conversation icon. Some graphics allow us to change the colors, so choose the ones that match your design. Next, I will duplicate the conversation icon because I want to showcase a one by one appearance effect. Go to Animate and select the pop-up animation. Now, play the video and cut where you want the effect to end. After that, click Add Page and here, we will select a gradient background. Then, go to Elements and search for mockups in the search bar. For this video tutorial, I will use Gadget as my sample mockups. When placing designs or elements like this, you need to consider creativity, style, and positioning. Once everything is properly arranged, we will add an image inside the mockups. If you want realistic images, go to Photos. 
After selecting an image, align it with the Matup element, and it will automatically adjust. To make it a full image inside the Matup, double-click on the image. An option panel will appear on the left side. Resize the image, then click Apply Changes. Next, we will add an animation to our gadgets. Go to Animate and choose the Rise Animation. When selecting animation effects, make sure they match the positioning of the elements so that the final animation looks smooth. To check the animation flow, keep playing the video and adjust if needed. For example, this element should be placed underneath. Next, duplicate page 3. On page 4, we will remove the animations. This part is very important, so make sure not to skip it because understanding the flow of pages is essential. Next, after removing the animation, position the elements where the animation ended on page 3. In this part, we will add text. For this video tutorial, I will add the word easy. I will place it at the bottom part of the page and choose white as the text color. Then, click duplicate and align the two texts on top of each other. Go to effects, select halo effects and adjust the thickness. Now, go to position and drag the solid text downward to create this design effect. After that, Adjust the page duration to 1.5 seconds. Next, duplicate the last page because we will complete the praise easy to connect. Follow the same step as we did on page 4 until all words are complete. Now, let's add animation to the text. Hold the control key to select multiple text elements at the same time. Then, Go to animate and choose an animation effect that best fits the text. Next, click add page where we will add our text. For example, I will add grab yours now. Go to font and I will choose league spartan. Then pick a dark color for the text. To make the text more engaging, go to Effects, choose Neon Style, and set the intensity to 100. we will also apply pop-up animation to our text. If you notice the two text animations appear at the same time, adjust the timing by selecting the text and modifying the duration on the timeline. You can also apply multiple animations to an image by selecting the Add on Effects option. Now, let's review all pages. For page 1 and page 2, we will add transitions to make the clip transition smoother, then adjust the duration. For the next page, I will apply the color wipe transition. Here, you can choose different directions and colors. Once everything looks good, go to share, click download, and select MP4 video file type. If you have a Canva Pro account, you can adjust the video quality. But even without it, you can still download the file. And there you have it, a creative video animation. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe. Have you ever been told you don't have skills? Don't worry, in my next tutorial, I will teach you how to create a basic video presentation using only Canva. So click on this video tutorial and I'll see you again in my next video.